All right, guys. Uh, part two of WrestleMania 37 just ended. And there was no rain delay, so this ended at the time it was supposed to this time. Uh, now, was night two better than night one? I would say yes. Night two is definitely better than night one. But there was kind of a couple things that I was mad about over night two. But overall, night two was just a little bit better than night one. It, it was just better. The show was good, but there's a couple things that I wasn't mad about. So, yeah, let's get into it. Uh, the first match, the eighth match of the night, is a singles match. The Fiend with Alexa Bliss versus Randy Orton. Winner of the singles match, Randy Orton. Um... This match was good until the ending. The, the, the ending was stupid and confusing. What do I mean by stupid and confusing? Well, Alexa Bliss cost The Fiend to lose. Uh, she had some, like, black, like, black, whatever, black food coloring, black ink, whatever the hell it was, coming down her face. It distracted the fiend, and the fiend RK or er, Randy Orton RKO'd the fiend, and he won the match. I'm not mad that Randy Orton won the match. I, I want to know the reason why this happened. It's it's the the fiend versus Seth Rollins in a Hell in a Cell match at Hell in a Cell 2019 all over again. Like they're trying to. They're trying to get the fans not to like this character. They're trying to ruin The Fiend, and I don't know why. This is the second time that this has happened. And honestly, I feel like The Fiend should have won so they could end this feud. This feud has been going on for five months. This feud has been going on since TL TLC 2020. Like, come on, end it. End it. End the feud. Let the fiend move on to somebody else. People are getting tired of Randy Orton versus the fiend. And I can tell you, nobody wants to see that match at Backlash on May 16th. Like, come on. And, you know, I could, I could see the fans. They were not happy about the finish. And I wasn't really happy about the finish either. The fans were booing at the end. I thought WWE would do it right and let The Fiend win. But no, they do this all the time. They give a stupid finish to a match that was good. And then they ruin the fans' hope of what was going to happen. If you're wondering why I'm so upset about this is this is the part of the night that pissed me off the most. I got four out of the seven matches correct. I got three of them wrong. For the whole pay-per-view, I got nine out of the 14 matches. That was really good. I want to say that really quick before I go on with anything else. Uh, the ninth match of the night is a tag team match for the, for the WWE Tag Team Championships. Uh, Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler with Reginald versus Tamina and Natalia. Winners and still women's tag team champions, Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler. Uh, this is the second match I got wrong in the night. Um, overall, this was a good match. It was pretty exciting. I could tell the fans were into it, even though the people that they were chanting for didn't even win. Uh, the tenth match is a singles match: Kevin Owens versus Sami Zayn with Logan Paul. Winner of the singles match: Kevin Owens. This match made me happy, even after the setback with the Fiend versus Randy Orton. This match made me happy. It was good. It was a good match overall, and I was happy about the ending when Kevin Owens stunned Logan Paul. Um, I'm not going to get into the reason why I liked it, but it just tells you that Logan Paul should just stay the boxing and not get into the wrestling business.
because he's not going to do very well. Like, I've seen a lot of celebrities get into the WWE and do well, but I don't think he's one of them. Maybe you should just stick to bro boxing like his brother. Uh, the length match of the night is a singles match for the Universal Championship. Riddle versus Sheamus. Winner and new United States Champion Sheamus. Um, this is the match that made me happy because I didn't know who was going to win in my predictions video. But I'm so happy that Sheamus won because he's my favorite wrestler and he was the veteran in the match. And the ending of the match was pretty cool. I loved it. Um, so what happened in the ending? Well, uh, the Sheamus was down. He got back up and, uh. Riddle was going to do a moonsault, but as Riddle was flying through the air for the moonsault, Sheamus Bro kicked him and won the United States Championship. Now, that's kind of something that Randy Orton would do. RKO, wrestler out of the air, but Sheamus did it. Huh, that's the second time in WrestleMania that's happened. Remember, remember my... My uh, my reactions for part one when Cesaro did it on the Randy Orton move. Pretty similar to that. Yeah. What a coincidence. Uh, the 12th match of the night is a Nigerian drum fight for the WWE Intercontinental Championship. Big E versus Apollo Crews. This is the last match I got wrong of the night. Winner and new Intercontinental Champion Apollo Crews. Um... This was also a good ma match. Uh, the ending, um, you know, I would really wish Big E would win, but I'm pretty happy that Apollo Crews won. Uh, even though I feel like they need to develop uh, his character some more, I think he's going to do fine with the person who helped him who won. Um, this person is from uh, Monday Night Raw Raw Underground. I can't remember. I, I think his name was Kabatato or whatever his freaking name was. I don't know. I don't know how to say his name. But his name was Kabatato. He was on Monday Night Raw for a little bit. He had a feud with Braun Strowman and that was it. Then they took him off TV. So now they're uh, pushing him into some like Nigerian soldier for, uh, for Apollo Crews, I guess. So yeah, that's what happened there. I think that will help develop his character a little bit more, by the way. Um, the 13 match was a singles match for the WWE Raw Women's Championship. Asuka versus Rhea Ripley. Winner and new women's champion, Rhea Ripley. Um, Raw Women's Champion, actually. But um, this match also made me happy because I feel like this was a, rep a, 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 a redemption match for Rhea Ripley, who lost at Wrestle. Last year's WrestleMania, WrestleMania 36, which I did do predictions and reactions for that, part one and part two, like this year. Um, overall, I felt like that WWE shouldn't have gone through with that idea because Charlotte Flair going to NXT didn't really help their ratings. And that kind of put down like Rhea Ripley for a couple months until... She made the main roster debut and challenged Oscar and won the championship at WrestleMania 37. <clears throat> so that's definitely a, a redemption match right there. I'm pretty happy with that. And the main event, the 14th match, triple threat match for the WWE Universal Championship. Roman Reigns, the champion, with Paul Heyman versus Edge versus Daniel Barron. Winner and still WWE Universal Champion Roman Reigns. Um, really, I wanted Edge to win more than Roman Reigns, but I'm okay with Roman Reigns winning. Um, the reason is, um, you know, the the match was pretty violent, and he did it a way where the match could officially end in a triple threat match. So, uh, he pinned both Daniel Bryan and Edge, which makes him a dominant win. I thought he was going to just pin Daniel Bryan at first, but... He pinned both Edge and Daniel Bryan in dominant fashion, so that's why that match is good. So now, what are the matches of the night? So the match of the night is, of course, the triple threat match for the WWE Universal Championship. Uh, 
Roman Reigns versus Edge versus Daniel Bryan. Um, that was a violent match. This is, I've said it so many times on my YouTube channel. I love stipulation matches, and this stipulation match added more to the story. Even though triple threat match is not really a stipulation match, but it really is in this sense because um, triple ma threat matches have no rules. And, of course, they were using weapons, which added more to the story, which they've been playing up that story with the steel chairs for the couple of weeks. And the steel chairs came into the play in the end. That's how Roman Reigns won the match. So overall, that's the match of the night. Uh, what are the underdog matches in the night? The first one is the singles match, Kevin Owens versus Sami Zayn. Um, I could tell you people were really excited for this match. I've seen it before. Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn have had good matches. And I felt like this was a good fit for night two of WrestleMania. Yes, they could have done it on night one, but it was still a good fit for night two because these guys have had so many matches in the past that they have been good. The inclusion of Logan Paul, I don't think they really need Logan Paul in this. Uh, I think Logan Paul was just there to add more hype to the match and more hype for WrestleMania. They even said Rob Gronkowski was going to be there, which he never showed up. So, yeah, they were just trying to hype things a little bit. And, um, the second underdog match of the night is Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler versus Tamina and Natalia. Um, overall, the fans were really excited for this match, too. I can tell you they wanted Tamina and Natalia to win the tag team titles. Uh, because they both have historical families and they really work well to, together as a tag team because they've been a, the veterans in this business for like around 10 years or 11 years. So I could tell the fans really wanted Natalia and Tamina to win, but that just didn't happen. Uh, maybe it will happen in the future. I don't know. Maybe it will happen at the next pay-per-view. So, those are my predictions and reactions for part one and part two. This was my reaction for part two of WrestleMania 37. Overall, WrestleMania 37 was a great show. I was so happy that the fans were back and this was overall a great WrestleMania like usual. I'm waiting to see what is in store for next year's WrestleMania. I can't wait to do predictions and reactions for WrestleMania 38 in the AT&T Center in Dallas, Texas. So please post a comment. What did you think of my predictions and reactions for WrestleMania 37 Part 1 and Part 2? And if you guys like this video, please like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Period.